I think the biggest surprise of draft night was when the Bulls took Patrick Williams at number four. Now, Williams was a player I used to think might get towards the end of the teens and get drafted like 17th or 18th. And then he started rising my boards. I had him towards the top 10, but probably like 10th-ish before the draft. And then he went fourth. Nobody was expecting it, but I'm intrigued by it. He went to the Bulls, so we are going to be doing a Bulls rebuild with Patrick Williams and the rest of the Bulls team. And we're gonna try and win a championship and we're gonna see just how good Williams can get. So I'm pretty excited to do this, but before we can get into the video, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, that gives us an inch closer to our 2000 subscriber milestone, which means a $50 gift card giveaway to one of you for PlayStation or Xbox or NBA store. So hit that subscribe button. Help everybody out. We're like 60 something away. Also, big news. If you guys didn't see in the community tab the other day, I was able to get my hands on a PS5. Now it's not here yet. It's coming through Walmart. So I gotta wait until January 8th is the expected delivery. I'm hoping it comes a little earlier than that, but it might not be until like January 8th until you guys see a video with me on the PS5. But it's gonna happen. It's a few weeks, hang tight. Give me the 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, before I get the PS5, and then 2021 will be our year. But enough talking, let's get into it. All right, so we're here with the Bulls, and the big thing with the Chicago Bulls is they're just gonna need some time in real life to develop. They got pieces, but they need the time. Um, I'm probably gonna run Patrick Williams in the G League. He's gonna, he's gonna develop a lot better down there in 2K than he will up with the main guys. And I think we're gonna take this season to just kind of see what we got. You know, like Otto Porter, he's off the books this year. So do I take Otto Porter and try to trade him for someone? Or do I just let him expire and just have a little bit of money in free agency? I'm not sure, I'll look into a trade here. Um, I'm not seeing anything I like. So we're just gonna let his contract expire and other than that, we don't really have big contracts. We have Thaddeus Young, who I'm probably gonna dump after this year. We have uh, Tomas Sadoransky, who I can dump after this year. And other than that, Felicio's expiring. We got Williams on his rookie contract. We got Markin in on the last year of his rookie, so we can sign him and trade him if we want to. Uh, but we're gonna have his rights so we can match. We got Kobe White in a rookie. We got Wendell on a rookie. And I mean, we got a couple of these contracts expiring and then these are all 3 million or less. So we're actually in a really good spot. And Levine's our star player and he's only making less than $20 million, which is huge. So with that said, I am going to also put um, Chandler Hutchinson maybe to the G League, just cause. And I might make one trade or something if I you know, we're just gonna simulate this here, I think. I think we're just gonna simulate it. Um, I wanna make sure the coaching is good. Grit and grind, I don't like that system at all for this specific team. I'm gonna go perimeter centric for now. I like Billy Donovan as, a, Donovan as a coach, but the grit and grind system with this Chicago Bulls team just makes no sense. I don't know what he's gonna run in real life. That's what he has in 2K. Um, but let's set the rotation and let's just get into the season. We're probably gonna be okay. You know what? Should we try and find an, a first round pick from the Cavs? They don't want to offer me one. Um, let's go to the Kings then. Will they offer me their pick? Larry Markin and Garrett Temple in a pick. That Young in a pick. Okay, that's not working. All right, let's try and get the Cavs one. But I'm not going to overpay for it, but let's try and get the Cavs pick and I will send them 2023 and 2025 and then do i have a player i could send them could i send them like garrett temple okay i can't do that um let, i'll throw them one more pick we'll throw them 2024 will they take this they won't okay you know what it's fine we'll be okay i'm going to simulate this year we'll see how everything goes i'm expecting we'll be okay but we probably won't make the playoffs so we'll probably have a lottery pick but I guess we'll see. All right, so we actually started out the season like 19 and 10 or something, and I was worried 
that we wouldn't get a lottery pick, but I think we will because we ended up 36 and 46. So here are all of the awards. Um, I doubt we see any bulls on anything. We do not. Okay, so with that being said, we did not make the playoffs, which is good. What was our seed? What did we end up in the Eastern Conf? Okay, that's power rankings. What did we end up in the Eastern Conference? We were the 10th seed. Okay, so we're probably going to get around like the 10th pick or something, which is fine. But let's check out the stats before we get into the playoffs. See who wins that. Levine, almost 30 points a game. Uh, Kobe White looked good. Larry Markinen looked pretty solid. Otto Porter looked okay, but I'm definitely okay with losing him. My goal is to sign somebody. I don't know who's out there because AD signed a contract extension. Giannis just signed the Supermax. So I'm guessing it's Kawhi. Hopefully. Um, but anyways, let's simulate the playoffs. We'll see who wins it all. Um, It is the Clippers. Okay, so Kawhi just wins a championship. Can we pull him away? Will he come to our team instead of trying to run it back with the Clippers? We'll see. Um, so, draft lotteries here. First, we got to see what pick we have. We end up with the fourth pick. Let's go. Fourth pick in back-to-back -back seasons. We really jumped up. I don't know what we were projected, but not the fourth pick, that's for sure. Staff signing, assistant GM, uh, Michael Williams, come to the team, please. I'll throw you like a Millie. Uh, Billy Donovan, I just wish his, you know what, I don't know. I just wish his system was better. But Randy Martin's also going to come to the team. Get those two. I'm going to fire Billy Donovan. I'm bringing in Mike D'Antoni to run this system for us. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we did that because he's going to run a system that's more for who we have in our team than what Billy Donovan had. So, draft time. Who are we going to get? You know what? I want to go get... Okay, Jalen Green. If I can get Cade Cunningham at four somehow. Jalen Johnson. Evan Mobley. Okay, we're going to get Cade Cunningham. This happens a lot. Happens a lot where I get Cade Cunningham with my... um, Like, at like the fourth pick. I don't know why, but... We need him. I wish he was a point guard in this, but it's okay. We also have pick 39, so we'll take we'll take this draft and stash guy because he probably has some solid trade value. So we got a 78 overall. Again, I wish he wasn't a, a small forward, but it is what it is. Rookie signing. We're going to sign both of them. Or we're going to retain the rights on Rocco, I guess, because we can't sign him yet. Team player options. Wendell. Yes, yes. So, oh, Sadoransky has a team option. Yeah, we're not accepting that. Or Thaddeus Young. Um, Diakono, Archie Diakono, I mean, eh. But these three for sure. All right, and then Kawhi accepted his player option. I don't know who the best player is going to be in free agency. Qualifying offers, Laurie Markkinen, yes. All right, so Rudy Gobert, I guess. Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan. These players, it's like, yeah, they're good players, but not... The Giannis's, ADs, and Kawhis of the world. But anyways, let's look at the roster, or let's look at the salary cap table. See what we got for money. I'm gonna renounce the rights on, well, 42 million dollar rights. No, uh, Young, no, Sadoransky. We might keep the rights on Sadoransky. All right, so let's just go out and see who do we have to resign? Who do we have bird rights on? We could bring back Otto Porter if there's nobody better, but, like, give me someone better. So, all positions. Rudy Gobert. I mean, like... Yeah, we'll throw, we'll throw Rudy Gobert a contract. And how much does Otto Porter even want? Only 11 million. Okay, we could probably afford that. We'll bring Denzel back. All right, we're not gonna renounce. Okay, so we can't bring Denzel back if we wanna bring Lori back. So let's not do that. Let's throw Lori like 115. Actually, we don't need to do that. Let's throw him 108, 109. Okay, so he's agreeing. All right, so let's just make sure they all come. What did we get Lori on for a contract? He's on his qualifying offer, so we we'll have to re-sign him next year. That's fine. Um, who do we have money for now? Could bring Valentine back. Probably gonna do that. 
And then... We don't really need Bielitsa or JaVale. Could use a backup point guard, though. I don't want it to be Jeff Teague. We'll bring Sadoransky back. And that's about all we can do. So let's go to player progression. How does Patrick Williams look? He is an 82. Okay, that's cool. And then Cade Cunningham, he has a 78. We knew that. Hutchinson is a 78. All right, we got some moves to make. That's for sure. I might trade Cunningham because we don't need him to be a small forward and his overall is going to go other places if he is something else. But I'm going to send some people to training camps. We'll get into the season and we'll make our decisions there. So if we start out the season as we have it, we would be okay. We'd have Kobe White, Zach Levine. You know, this is a solid lineup. I don't like that Williams is a small forward in the game, but we're going to leave him there. Um, I think he's more of a power forward in real life. And then... Off the bench, I mean, we have way too many small forwards. So, that being said, do I want to... Just what happens to Kate Cunningham? Goes down to a 77. I think we can afford... But then... Man. But Zach Levine's our shooting guard. You know, we're probably going to keep Kate unless there's something really good for him. So if we threw him and I don't know what to do money-wise, if we threw him and Zach Levine out there together. Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling that. What what happens if it's just him? Um, De'Aaron Fox. Oh, we'd have to throw in Zach Levine. I'm not doing that. TJ Warren. Um, yeah, that's not the move. Um, another thing I want to do is trade Rudy Gobert. We have a first round pick to do that. Um, I'd like to bring in... Ooh, Paul... G I'm getting good trade offers. Paul George is going to get worse. So I've seen it happen way too many times in 2K. I'm not falling for it. But there's got to be something else good, right? So bonus and Warren. That would allow us... But that's another small forward that we don't need. We just don't need a small forward. We could use Pascal Siakam. We could use him. I would like Pascal Siakam on my team. We're going to do that. We're going to bring in Pascal. And he's going to be our power forward. Laurie Markkinen is going to be the backup for now. Wendell's our starting center. That's not exactly what I am picturing with the championship team. But we'll see. Otto Porter. If I throw enough picks with Otto Porter, could we get something for him? Like if I throw 2024 and 2025 with him. Um... Mitchell Robinson. Okay, that wouldn't be bad. Christian Wood. I don't need a power forward. All right, let's throw Mitchell Robinson. We're also bringing in Malik Monk, which is a tradable player. So Mitchell Robinson and Wendell. Now that is two centers that I think could run a championship team. They're not going to be the main focal point, so I think they'll be okay. Um, power forward wise, or small forward wise, we have Williams, who's going to keep getting better. And we have Cunningham, who's going to keep getting better. We can trade away Hutchinson. I want to try and bring in a better point guard because we have Kobe White, but I just think if we brought in another starting caliber point guard and had White off the bench, it'd be better. But I guess we'll have to see what's out there. I mean, I could trade Kobe White too. Like, Bulls fans probably wouldn't be happy with me because he is their starting point guard. But I just don't know how good he's going to be. So let's just see what's out there. Um... Wow, Aiton's out here. You know what? De DeAndre Aiton? That's a steal of a trade. I gotta make that just because the value is too insane to not or to pass up. He's now our best player. And we need a point guard now, but I can trade uh, Mitchell Robinson or Wendell for one. I think I'm gonna trade Mitchell Robinson, but I have to throw some contract with him because he makes like no money. So if we throw like Malik Monk, him, and we'll just do a second, why not? Could we bring in a point guard? Tyrese Maxey, um, RJ Hampton. We could bring Kobe White back. I'm actually okay with that in this situation because uh, we need a solid point guard back on this team and he would be that solid point guard. So I'm going to do that. We're going to bring him back to the team. We just had to trade him. Just for a second, so we can bring him back. Um, 
<laughs> it's weird, but we got him back. Okay, so then bench, I'm cool with Markkanen and Carter, I think. I'm going to put a trade out there for Markkanen. Now, I just need a backup point guard and shooting guard. So we're going to trade like Hutchinson and Johnson for one. But I want to trade, I want to look at Laurie Markkanen's trade value. Um, that's not bad. Sexton's not bad. Okongwu seems better because I feel like we're going to need some defense. Or PJ Washington and Bridges. And we could flip Bridges. I don't know which one would be the best. Kelly Oubre. I think we're going to go PJ Washington and Miles Bridges here. I know I'm trading a bunch of their core pieces. I don't care. This is a fantasy rebuild. But now we still have way too many small forwards that didn't solve anything. So let's trade away Bridges because we have Cade Cunningham. And we'll throw a second with him. We'll try and get a shooting guard or a backup point guard. Derrick Rose, he's getting worse. I don't really need that. I could nail down like... Jared Culver. I don't need a small forward though. Gary Trent Jr. Yeah, okay. Gary Trent Jr. is coming to the team. And then we're also going to trade away... Chandler Hutches no yeah Hutchinson and Johnson and a second try and get a backup point guard who did I just yeah backup point guard so Mike Conley he's getting older Monte Morris that would be fine Aaron Holiday would be cool um yeah okay we're gonna go with Monte Morris here so we got Kobe White, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, Pascal Siakam, DeAndre Ayton. Then we have Wendell, PJ, Gary Trent, Cade Cunningham, Monte Morris. I wish Cade Cunningham was a point guard, but it is what it is. All right. This is the team. System-wise, seven seconds. Perfect. All right. Let's simulate the... Well, let me make sure. I didn't check to make sure it was a 10-man rotation. It is a 10-man rotation. All right. I'm going to simulate this here. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to be a playoff team. I just don't know if we're a championship team, but I guess we'll see. All right, so we won 58 games, which gives us a shot to be champions this year. So let's just go ahead. Uh, we had one more game, but we didn't get coach of the year. One more win than the coach of the year. So Bulls-wise, I doubt we have anybody in any All-NBA teams. We don't. Rookie teams. Uh, our defensive teams, no. And then rookie teams, we should have Cade Cunningham somewhere he's not on first team he is on second oh no patrick williams is on second team kate cunningham did not make one okay so i wonder what's up with that we are the one seed though so maybe there's just too much talent for Cade. maybe that that's very possible um so we have levine okay so these are stats um pretty spread out cunningham only seven points but that makes sense he's playing behind um patrick williams too so i guess there just wasn't a lot of minutes to be had but anyways, we're going up against Cleveland. Garland, Sexton, Okoro, Love, Drummond. Uh, we should be able to beat this team. We do. Um, and then the Bucks. See, this one's going to be tough. But we'll see if Siakam has anything for Giannis. We do beat them in seven. And then we have the Hawks. Trey Young, Bogdanovich, Cam Reddish, uh, John Collins, Aaron Baines, Okongwu, Gallinari, Hunter. All right, we're up 2-0. I'm going to go game by game for the next one game all right we should be good we won in six and now we have the grizzlies so it's john morant uh d'anthony melton kyle anderson jaron jackson jr and Jonas valanciunas i think we can beat this team but it depends how good ja is i guess we go up 2-0 we go up 3-0 and we win in five so our finals mvp is zach levine he averaged 22 points five and a half assists and almost three rebounds per game in the finals so pretty solid stuff from him there let's try and win another championship because i'm just excited to see how everybody looks we don't have a draft pick at all i don't even know why i went to this uh staff signing assistant coach will bring in trent peterson he's come to the team and then nba draft we don't have anybody we'll go to rookie signing We'll bring Rocco in. He was our rookie last year. That was draft and stash for a year. Team player options. We're going to accept all of these. And then qualifying offers. Gary Trent, Wendell, and DeAndre Ayton. We have to resign. 
All right, so we got to bring both of our centers back and then our backup shooting guard. So Aiton will throw him that. Carter will throw him that. Oh, Levine, too. We'll throw him that. And we're agreeing on all those guys. And I got to bring back Gary Trent. So where is Gary Trent Jr. at? I might have to go find him. So last name Trent, first name Gary. All right, let's see. So we'll throw him like 51. And let's just make sure all those guys are coming back. Okay, if we match some people, that's fine. But, so we got Aiton back. We got Wendell back. Did we get Levine? Yes. And then we got Gary Trent. Okay, so we're good there. Free agency-wise, outside of that, we could bring in... See, I could use a better backup point guard. But I just don't see one out here. Um, Tyus Jones, maybe. And that's pretty much all we need. I might make a couple trades... Um, but other than that, I think we're pretty good. So let's look at player progression too, because how good is Cade? How good is Patrick Williams now? Is Kobe White getting better? Aiton's up 2 to an 89. Siakam's up to an 87. Williams goes up to an 85. White's up to an 84. Um, Cunningham's an 82. Wendell's an 84. All right, I feel pretty solid about this team. So I'm going to go to training camp, send some people. We'll get into the next season. We'll see if we need to make any moves. And then we'll try and win a championship. So rotation-wise, it's the exact same as last year. Could we improve it? Maybe. Could I take, like, Kobe White, throw Rocco with him, and our first in 2027, and get a better point guard? Maybe. We could do this trade, but we don't need either of those two positions filled. We could bring in Halliburton. It's not going to make us better. Cole Anthony and Lonzo Ball would be cool. That'd be cool, but it's not like not worth breaking up the chemistry of this Bulls team. So I think we're going to run with it, except I want to just try and trade like Monte Morris and get a better backup point guard. That would be cool. That That's what I'm going to try and do. Um, Let's see here, though. Better backup point guard as in there is not one on the market. Manuel Quickly is a shooting guard. All right, we're just running it. We are running with the same team. We are running everything. We're just straight up running it back. And that's fine because we won a championship last year. Why make major changes? I don't know, but I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we won 62 games. Seems like we're on our way to winning another championship. Mike D'Antoni wins coach of the year this time. All NBA teams, I see no bulls. That's fine. Keep doubting our players. They're only going to prove you wrong. We're the one seed again. Um, here are all of our stats. I see no problem. We got to go up against the eight seeded Bucks who have Giannis. Easy. Five games. Then we got Cleveland. Easy. Seven games. Easy. We went down 3 1, but we still won. And we have the Magic Lonzo Ball, Evan Fournier, Chris Paul, Cole Anthony. Wow. All right. It's quite the team there. We're up 2 0. We're up 3-0. We win in six. And we have Luka and the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals. They also have MPJ, who always signs there. Always. Always ends up there in 2K. Super weird. But let's see. Let's go game by game. We take game one again. They take game two this time. And game three. And game four. All right, we got to come back from 3-1. If we lose, it is what it, we're going to lose. It is what it is. We lost big time. I guess it was only 13. That was a high scoring game. Uh, but it is what it is. We got our championship in year number two. I'm happy. Bulls fans should be happy. Their first championship since Jordan. Can't complain about that. Luka wins MVP, by the way, too. Our finals MVP averaging 46 points, 12 and a half assists, and 10 rebounds a game. Ridiculous. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's rebuild. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. You don't want to miss out on that $50 gift card giveaway. Uh, so don't miss out. Just hit that subscribe button. More details to come after that. Uh, please stick around until the PS5's here, and then we will be taking over 2021. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.